I'm the founder of universityparent.com and I graduated from Leeds in May 2004. Um, so I started University Parent when I was a senior at CU. Um, I was doing the entrepreneurship certificate and I was in the business plan preparation class with Frank Moyes. And in that class I wrote a business plan to um, start a parent handbook. We're currently at about 200 campuses all over the U.S. and you can check them out at universityparent.com. It's, it's, it's okay to interview for positions that you aren't in love with just by reading the job description because I think that you know it's, it's really hard to communicate what a job is in a one-page um, job description and a lot of jobs sound kind of boring that way. So I'd really encourage you to interview with as many companies as possible just so you have a wider range of opportunities and so that you get better at interviewing and just because you never know what you're going to find once you actually go meet that person, learn about the company, visit the building, you know, feel what it's like to be there, meet other people. I just think that, you know, it's really bad to just write off um, a company based on the job description. Um, well, I think following up after the interview is almost as important as the interview itself. I think it really shows your level of professionalism and maturity and um, it can also really highlight your writing skills. So what I like to see when I interview a candidate is an immediate um, either email or handwritten note follow-up just saying you know thank you for the interview maybe mentioning something specific about the company or the interview that grabbed their attention and then also I like to even see a follow-up phone call um, especially if it's a sales position so you can really see kind of how interested is this person in the position are they just interviewing with as many people as they can or do they really want this job I like for them to really um, hone in on something specific either from the interview or about the company. Maybe something they thought of after they left the interview. Like let's say we were talking about a problem that we're facing as a company. Maybe in the email or follow-up letter they could say, you know, I've been thinking about that problem that we discussed and I had an idea. Here's my idea. Something like that. Just something to show me that they're thinking about the company, they're thinking about the position, um, they're smart, they can communicate well, and that they're good writers. I think that uh, Leeds is getting more and more recognized for some of their outstanding programs and I think students can really leverage that. So, you know, I think when I graduated it wasn't named Leeds yet. So I think that was a big disadvantage for students then is that it just didn't have the recognition that it does now. And it seems like, you know, there have been so many awards and so many um, top ranking programs like, you know, the, I know the entrepreneurship program consistently gets ranked really highly. And I think students can really leverage that and show employers that, you know, they did graduate from a really outstanding institution.